Hi, my name is Nancy Esposito. I'd like to talk to you about the ministries at St. Anne's Church and how my husband and I became involved. My husband Pete and I became members of St. Anne's Church back in 2007. I remember the day our lives changed in a good way. It was a sunny Sunday when after Mass this very friendly lady stopped us on our way to our car. She asked if we were new at St. Anne's and we said we were. And this very friendly lady, who we later found out was our own Eleanor Edwards, uh, suggested that we look through the bulletin and check out what ministry St. Anne's had to offer. She mentioned the food pantry and to call Kathy Penny. Well, to be perfectly honest, I'm the type of person who would like to go to church and go to church on Sundays and Holy Days and then go home and live my life. But this friendly lady left such an impact on us that we seriously took her suggestion and we looked through the bulletin and decided to call Kathy Penny. I knew that if I didn't do it immediately that I would put the bulletin aside and be very confident that other people would be doing these things. So we called Kathy and Kathy welcomed us to the food pantry and that's how we started our ministries. Uh, back in 2007, the food pantry was not what it is today, um, but there was a need and we wanted to help. So our involvement at St. Anne's began. It wasn't long after that that we were asked to become extraordinary ministries, ministers of Holy Communion. We have been in this ministry since about 2012 and have had the privilege to train new extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion. We became involved in other ministries as well. We were sacristans too. I felt that God had blessed us so much that it was time to pay God back. I soon found out that you just can't pay God back. Every little thing you do for God, He's one step ahead of you and He blesses you. By being involved in these ministries, God blessed us by getting to know such wonderful and caring people that is St. Anne's. I'm basically a shy person and have a fear of speaking in front of people. It's true in the Bible when it says, knock and the door shall be opened to you, because God did open that door for me by being a lector and proclaiming God's word. So God really does have your back if you trust in him. One of my favorite passages in the Bible is from Philippians. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. My son believes it too because he has it tattooed on his arm. Pete and I moved to Raleigh in April. It was becoming more and more difficult to continue our involvement in these ministries to give it 100%. And we prayed about what we should do. It's been said that when you are faced with a difficult decision, to pray and listen for that small voice. Well, we heard that small voice when at Mass, the sermon dealt just with that topic. So that was my sign that it was time to move on. And it was a very difficult decision because we love St. Anne's, but we registered at Holy Name of Jesus Cathedral, but we will still continue in some of our ministries here, like the Food Pantry and International Food Festival. With all this being said, there are so many ways that you can be involved in St. Anne Ministries. You can become an extraordinary minister of Holy Communion. You could be a sacristan, a lector, um, altar server, usher, um, we need altar service, particularly at the 4.30 Saturday Mass and 7 o'clock Sunday Mass. Sacristans are needed at those two Masses as well. If you're on the fence about getting involved, or perhaps you feel that everything is already being taken care of by the volunteers doing it already, believe me, your help is needed. Pray about it. Someone is listening. You won't regret it. Because when you do get involved, it's like God whispering in your ear saying, I know what you're doing and I love you. Keep up the good work. So I'd like to say, finish this off by saying what my mother would always tell us kids when we left the house. Go with God.